I've been watching a lot of overlanding videos lately, and I kinda got the bug to see what it's all about. Granted, the adventure wagon is pretty much stock, but I don't have as much interest in rock crawling as I do being able to go out camping in remote places when the weather is bad, or being able to go on road trips and save some money by sleeping in the car. We decided to spend the night out in Christmas Valley area and check out some of the nearby sites. I'm hoping to visit a memorial at the site of an A6 plane crash, walk through a crack in the ground, a 70-foot deep fissure, as well as attempting to find some petroglyphs that were supposedly in the area. All right, so I knew there were pictographs out here in uh, Eastern Oregon, and I did a bunch of research, and apparently there is one that is literally right off the highway. So we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully I figured out how to get here. Well, it took some searching, but I actually found it. It's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack. I really want to share my adventures and you know all the trails and stuff I don't want to gatekeep in any way shape or form but one of the things that I worry about are sensitive spots like this I'm not going to actually disclose the location of where this is but with some creative googling and some map reading you should very easily be able to find the locate the area it was in and then from there it was a matter of just kind of searching around the trails and stuff until you actually see it Okay, next time I invest in tire deflators. This is pretty rocky. Well, the parking lot seemed pretty full, so we're gonna go find a camp spot and then give it a little bit of time and then maybe come back and check out and see if uh, it's emptied out a little bit. Worst case scenario, we'll go hit it in the morning. We found a campground, but it is completely full. So we'll probably just wind up boondocking it. In the meantime though, we are at Green Mountain and there's an overlook, so let's go check it out. Oh, we found a, finally found a spot. Doesn't have the greatest views, but it's not bad. The best thing about it is though that it's much more private and there's not people everywhere. And that's kind of the point of getting out here and exploring some of these back roads. I think it's getting kind of late, so we're just gonna hang out here at camp now and we'll go check out Crack in the Ground in the morning and then go see if we can find the A6 crash site. <laughs> well, I plan on building a platform in here at some point, but for now, sleeping pads and some reflectance in the window will just have to do. See you guys in the morning. It isn't too bad in the Subaru last night. I definitely need to build a platform out. It's not quite long enough to lay in the bed. 
but otherwise the little reflective panel thing kept us pretty warm despite the fact that it's like low 30s out there and it's probably time to get up and get moving So I can definitely see the appeal of this. I mean, you don't have to worry about weight like you do with backpacking. Heck, I've got a camp chair. Can't argue with that. You can also bring a cooler, beer, soda, whatever you want. I just think that uh, I need to work on figuring the sleep situation out in the car and maybe, maybe figure out the storage a little better. But for now, I think it's time we pack up and start heading on over to Hole in the Ground. Squirrel, literally. So I think waiting until the morning was a good idea. There's absolutely nobody here, so we have the whole place to ourselves. It's definitely about 10 to 15 degrees colder down here than it is up on the surface. So if you're coming in the morning, it might be a bit chilly. I mean, obviously there was ice on the ground, but uh, still, it's pretty cool down here. Echoey too. And once you get through, there's a trail that goes along the top of it on the surface, and you can kind of look down into it as you hike back. Well, that was pretty cool. There's enough scrambling inside that you probably wouldn't want to take pets down there. And 
The trail back along the rim doesn't have any guardrails or anything, so if you're going up there, you might want to be careful with kids and pets because it's a big drop. Anyway, we are now on our way back and we're going to see if we can find the uh, two plane crashes. The road to the A6 crash site is about 20 miles outside of Christmas Valley. You'll know you need to turn off the main road when you see the boot on the fence. You'll see there's a gate across the road. You encounter these kinds of gates a lot in Eastern Oregon. Just make sure you close it once you're through. The road started easily enough, nice and graveled, but it soon turned to dirt. Not long after it hit dirt, the rut started appearing. First they were no big deal, but they started getting deeper and deeper. I haven't done a lot of this type of driving in my Subaru, so I was pretty nervous going over some of these, but it finally got to the point where they got too deep, and I got stuck a couple of times. There was no way to turn around, and I was forced to reverse my way back through these same ruts for almost half a mile. Well, that was pretty discouraging. I got part of the way out there, and uh, the road just got too rutted for uh, the Subaru to handle in its stop form like that. If I'd have maybe had an extra inch or two of clearance, would have been fine, but hey, you know, just sometimes you just got to turn around. Although I will say having to reverse through all of that rutted area was a bit of a clincher. Not entirely certain what I'm going to do now. Um, we'll just have to see. Um, I have a little bit of time to go look at something else, so maybe I'll just go find something. to have some lunch on our way back. It's gonna pretty much do it for this trip. I wanted to go out and do some more stuff, but I pretty much just ran out of time. I am pretty happy with what I got though. I got to uh, limit test the Subaru a little bit, figure out what it can do, what it can't do. I did learn some stuff. Uh, I was really happy to find those petroglyphs and I had a lot of fun over cracking the ground. So hopefully you liked what you saw. This is kind of a different video than the type I normally do. But uh, if you do, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos. I will be doing the Rogue River Trail here, here in just a few days, and you will be seeing that coming up, so make sure you don't miss it. Anyway, thanks for watching.